Hi, the purpose of this tutorial is to uh, give you some direction on how to use Google Sites to create your senior project ePortfolio. So you want to log into your Google uh, Apps account. You should have received instructions on this from your English teacher. And you want to go to um, you want to go to your uh, start page, and it should look like this. And there should be a link here for Google Sites. So once you go to Google Sites, um, the link that you'll be interested in here is create a new site. So when you click on that, you have some options. And those options will be to give your site a name. And the URL for that will be right here if you want to save that to go back to it to see how it looks when it's not in edit mode. You have uh, optional site categories, optional site description. This one right here is very, very important. If you leave this right now as it says collaborate with everybody at Webster CSD, that means any other student can not only just look at your portfolio, but they can also edit it. So you need to change that to only people you specify can view this site. Uh, later, um, you might change it to this. Anyone in the world can view this site, but right now um, only people I specify can view this site. Then you can check out the uh, themes, make it any color you wish, and let me get, move this over here, uh, and then create site. Now, I already have a site created, so I'm going to go back to my sites, and um, I have uh, a template that's already created and what I want to do here is show you a couple things how to create a new page and how to edit a page and so if I want to create a new page I, I see what do I need for a new page so I might need um, let me see what I need I'll go to the senior project web page I'll go to Google Apps and ePortfolio information I click on the template and the template comes up. Oh, wrong one. Where'd it go? Yeah, wrong one. ePortfolio, here's the template. So I need a proposal page, a mentor bio, time logs, photo journal, all of these things. So I go back here and I create a page. So I'm going to call this my mentor bio. And I'm going to create the page. And now I can insert a picture. So I'm going to insert an image. I can find it on my computer. Let's see if I go to my documents and my pictures and um, I don't have many pictures, do I? Uh, there's a picture. I'll put a picture of myself in there. Add image, and then I can type. And I can highlight just like a Word document and bold it. I can change change the color, and it's simple as that. I hit save. Okay, let's see. Where was I? I just had to take a phone call. But um, Okay, so I created this page. Uh, but you'll notice that uh, over here on the sidebar, this area is called the sidebar, um, you have two blocks, recent site activity and navigation. And if we go back and look at... Um, the, the template, you'll notice that I have all of the pages that you need for your portfolio over here in the navigation area. And so if we want to put that over here, we have to go to Edit Sidebar. And I don't like the recent site activity. I know what I've done. I can just delete that. Uh, I go to Edit, and I'll say Add Page to Sidebar. I'm going to add the Mentor Bio. Hit OK. I'm going to move that up. I can move that up there. I can put it in that order. Sitemap, I can even, I can move that up or down. I could just get rid of it, which I think I'm going to get rid of it just so it's a cleaner look. 
Hit OK, hit Save Changes. Changes have been saved and go back to Return to Site. So now I have Home, Home Page, and I have Mentor Bio, and that's right here. And again, I can go in and edit that, and I can insert images, calendars, spreadsheets, presentations, um, video, I can embed video, uh, all sorts of things. And um, that's the two basic things that you have to learn how to do is create the site, or I guess three, create the site, create a new page, and be able to edit the page, save it, always save your stuff, um, edit the page, and then add it to uh, the sidebar. Okay. Uh, you can change the site layout too. Um, if I hit click change site layout, I could move, no, this one doesn't let me do that too much. Uh, oh yeah, sidebar on the left, sidebar on the right. I uh, can change the height of the, of the logo. So there's some things you can do depending on the templates. So return to the site, oh, save, hit OK. And I'm home, and I can create a new page or edit the one that I am on. And that's it.